I have a problem with my voice. Sometimes it's a whisper. Sometimes it yells. So don't take it personally if, if I yell. <laughs> uh, just because you have the authority to do something doesn't mean you have to use it. You know, but the police always use their authority. That's a problem. When you have a demonstration, and I gather this was an unpermitted demonstration that they didn't have a permit. I was not involved in this demonstration, by the way. <laughs> oh, to care. Yeah. Well, the chief was shaking his head, so I mean, <laughs> uh, so it's an unpermitted demonstration, which is always an irritant to the police. They would rather have you get a permit. And the activists don't want to get a permit because they see that as a basic violation. Uh, and we have a right to protest. The question is how? When you have 100 people in a box and you pick out 10, you are wrong. There is no way to prosecute that. You go before a judge or a jury, and, and the activists now are demanding jury trials. Very expensive. So what happens is you get arrested, you go to jail, they drop the charges, and then you turn around and you It's very expensive for everybody. So all I'm, all I'm saying is, look, if you have the authority, you don't have to use it. And when you do use it because you have it, you're wrong. You need other reasons. You need to be afraid that this group is going to be out of control. And they weren't. They were not out of control. Most of them were not doing anything except being in the street. So that's what happens in demonstrations. Thank you very much. I'm not used to that. That's kind of cool. Much better than that red light that was on. <laughs> uh, Dan Handelman with Portland Cop Watch. Um, so the issue about permitted and not permitted. It's an irritant um, to somebody who does a lot of protests and gets some permitted and doesn't permit some of them. I don't think that should be a question on the table about whether the permit was issued or not. Or whether. The point is that once the police start blocking the streets, they're causing as much problem with traffic as the protesters are <coughs> currently. So if they're willing to block the street for 45 minutes to detain people unlawfully, as you rightfully said, um, then why don't they just block the streets and let the people do their dying for 45 minutes? I think my understanding was they were going to do it for four and a half minutes, not 45 minutes. So they would have been done before the 45 minutes were over if the police had just cut off traffic and then left. Um, also, as has been mentioned a couple of times, everybody that was arrested was uh, not complainted by the DA's office. So uh, the arrests themselves are questionable in addition to the mass detention. The point about the um, Crowd control uh, policy, thank you, uh, is that there was no recommendation about kettling boxing in because you were assured that it was something that, that we are hardly ever do. Um, we encouraged you to to actually do something about it. There actually is not a recommendation about that yet. But you were going to reconvene the work group so you could have that discussion. That's my understanding. Um, and lastly, you know, we have this question a, a lot, thank you again, uh, about the effectiveness of certain tactics. And the example I always use is it's a very effective to tape a child to a chair to stop them from being rambunctious, but it doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. Um, so just because the tactics are effective doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. Okay. So